So is it soup or sandwich today? I love French onion soup. It's actually one of my favorites. So I thought I'd experiment with making a French onion soup burger. It's the best of both worlds, right? And it's hard to grill soup. So this will work fine on the grill. Featuring the onion. I like to try and stick with Vidalia sweet onions around these parts. Can't always find them. Pretty much will work with anything. And I'm going to use a lot of onion, not only to give it that taste, but also I like grilling them and having some extra. I do a thing called onion pops where I skewer the onion with three or four bamboo skewers like I'm doing here. And then you can slice in between and you have like these little kind of onion lollipops, which will help you in the grilling process, not falling through the, the grates. And then you can just transfer it to the burger. So here's the burger recipe using some really tasty 80-20 ground beef, grass-fed from Butcher Box. Got the information on those guys in the details box below. And here's what I'm putting in there. Teaspoon of this bouillon beef base. One teaspoon dried chives. A teaspoon freshly ground black pepper and one tablespoon minced garlic. Whoa. Of course, mix it all together thoroughly, and it's better if you're working with it kind of chilled, but you're gonna make eight really thin patties here, and you're making them thin so you can put uh, a little bit of cheese in between and make it a stuffed burger here. Gruyere is like the best stretchy cheese. I love it. You're gonna to top each one of these four little patties with a slice of the Gruyere, then top it with the remaining four patties. So you got four stuffed burgers. Nothing says French onion soup like a big old crouton. And in this case, we're gonna use a thick slice of French bread as the bun. Hey, so if you missed all the ingredients flashing by there, don't panic. I've got the whole thing. The French onion soup burger recipe in this new book right here. The ultimate wood pellet grill smoker cookbook. Not just the uh, French onion burger on page 86, but over a hundred other really good ones too. All focused on this guy, the wood pellet grill. We're using oak wood for the burger. And the beautiful thing about the wood pellet grill is it gets higher temperatures, so it can smoke, but it can also grill burgers. So grilling all the burgers is pretty straightforward. You're putting it on the grill, you're letting it smoke. Of course, if you're using a pellet grill, you're using pretty much the firing of the highest of the settings, like 450. You let it cook for about 10 minutes, close the lid, you flip it, you smoke it with the lid closed for 10 to 15 more minutes. You really are shooting for a meat thermometer insert it into the thickest part to read 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you get to, you know, just grill some bread once you're close to being done with everything. Bread will uh, burn real quick, so you gotta be on top of it. Brush the onion slices and the bread with a little butter and seasoning mix, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna add more cheese just to give it the total cheese effect for a French onion soup burger. I did a little more Gruyere, and then I actually like to Put a slice of the onion on top of the patty and top it all with one more slice of provolone cheese. And you've got the ultimate French onion burger. In the book, uh, I call it Bill's Best French Onion Burgers, but really the original name is French Onion Soup Burger. And again, yeah, soup is tough to grill sometimes. There you go, French onion soup burger. If you got a favorite burger, tell me about it in the comments. I would love to hear about it. Been really working on this book for a while, so hopefully some more videos to come real soon. Look at that cheese stretch. The French onion soup burger. Enjoy. All right, pellet grill aficionados, check this out. It's on Amazon now, and if you want to find out more about it, it's at www.barbecuetricks.com.